Hey guys and welcome back to Victoria 2 as Austria slash Germany. So it would appear that the save game didn't quite save. I may have I may have accidentally have saved it, not saved it, which is a bit of an issue because I was actually really looking forward to that conflict that we were just in with Russia and France. I'd imagine it being here, hopefully they'll do the same thing. But I'm not 100% sure. Obviously it all depends really. So where we left off was our industry is sitting in third. I'd imagine France is second perhaps. France is second, I think that was. Which we can close soon overtake and then UK in first obviously. So the plan basically is just to keep on boosting up the industry. And then just keep on leaving. We're going to have these units replenish here. Uh, are we still getting our justification? I think we still were. We weren't. We hadn't even started justifying against against the um, Russians just yet. So, I think if we are going to be at war, I think it is important that we start building, getting fort technology. Considering, you, I suppose we can call this a bit of sixth sense. I mean, it was obvious that the French were going to try and take take it back from me at some point, but obviously only when it's of advantage to them because otherwise it would be completely pointless so I one thing other thing I also want to look at is what is my population there so what is the region what is the so population density not ideal is it posing that's got quite a high population no I mean, kind of, but no. Because what I want to do is I want to have areas that are specialised in certain things, just so it's easier for me to like use it, look at it, and use it. Um. So, obviously, that's that's the, that's what I want to do. So with Bohemia, it'd probably be quite useful if this was just like uh, like industry of, of like heavy goods, should we say? So like steel and artillery and so forth because what we are quite high in steel production yeah we are behind the UK but that's fine um, so we're gonna get this we're gonna move our rally point further in purely because it's <laughs> it's so far away for anyone to get to that it's kind of pointless so I think it would be an R best interests if that was moved slow well not slowly but gradually more inland um, purely because it would be easier so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to build just templates like this now because when we do go to war we can mobilize our infantry and we can then use the four infantry just to go to that so we'll have so essentially we don't have to focus on building infantry but we can essentially just constantly have um for proper decent sized armies but with a, a little bit of a of a infantry debuff which isn't that bad it's not actually that penalizing so i'd much prefer that to be a factor rather than just hoping that everything goes okay so obviously my nation doesn't have a large amount of capitalism so a lot of the industry a lot of well not sorry a lot of the railroads will have to be built by myself which is fine realistically because i mean germany will have more that shouldn't be too much of an issue, frankly. So, whether or not they'll choose to declare war is a different matter. I'm going to start to justify... Actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to try and retake these state... Uh, retake down here. If it's working, of course. If it's not, then it's not. So, we've got Tuscany in my sphere. So I would like to get Sardinia Piedmont. I have a truce with Parma. Are you available? No, sorry, it's my Parma. Yeah. Okay, so the other ones aren't available. So are you allied with? No. You are allied with France. So you'll be attacking me at the end of the day. Okay, not ideal, not terrible. So I can live with that, to be honest with you. So we're making obscene amounts of money. Cut the admin admin down to 50. Do we have anything that we can build naval wise? No, that's fine. 
I do apologise for the sound that you've probably just heard of the Discord. I thought I muted it, but I'm, I'm going to wager that that has a direct message. Unless I've done it wrong. I also apologise if you can hear a emergency service vehicle going past. It is late at night, but obviously... Obviously, yeah, the emergencies don't stop for anyone, I guess, regardless of the time. So, that's fine by me. So, at the moment, there's been no French attack, which is a shame in a way, because I was really, really looking forward to that war. And I think I've messed it up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no I do want to see it. I do, I do, I do. Um, so we're going to try and get stacks of 33 just because it's more artillery. Oh, never mind. There it is. There is the wall we asked for, I guess. So we're going to get let them build before we even mobilize because I can live with that for now. So let's see their tech. So their tech is 12, 10. I'm sitting on 14. So we're going to have to push up to here. We're not. We're going to sit in the defensive because I have no interest of attacking just yet. So they are walking through the Netherlands, which does hurt to a degree. So they'll allow us through, though. But I don't really want to. I'm going to try and push into. They're about to push in with a hefty force. When are they coming in? They are coming in on the 10th. We are leaving on the 11th. So we're going to have to commit to that one. Are you a defensive general? You're an attacking general. What are you? You're an attacking general too. So that's kind of touch and go, frankly. Uh, how quickly are these going to be built? Not fast enough. So we are going to cut back on that and we are going to mobilize. Get you out of that cycle. Get you up to there. Okay. Okay, so let's slow down the speed a little bit. Up to three speed, three speed is probably okay. They're sieging up in the eastern part, of, well, the East Prussia, which is fine for now. I can absorb that. So they're rebuilding. That needs to be reinforced. That can go there. If they attack in the woodlands, all of my generals here are attacks, which isn't great, frankly. Uh, what are you? You're a defense. Only one defense. That's horrendous. Okay, we're still winning that, and they are losing a lot of men a day. Okay. So we're going to have to eventually... What we might be able to do is we might be able to hold this area, because this area is hills. Are we able to get your an attack? Can we please have a defense? Defense would be nice. <laughs> it would appear not, really. Um... Huh. Get you in. Why are all of them attacked? This is ridiculous. Okay, you're okay. And you're okay. That's fine. I can live with that. They ha- What? I don't even know how that's happened. But, okay. Whatever, I guess. Sure. That is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. So they're attacking me in Mets. They're reinforcing that battle too. Which is fine. You are just one unit. Go down there. Okay, so they're engaging me up down here too. So, this battle is a big, big battle. They have the leader advantage, but they won't win that battle. I won't allow it. So they're losing down here. So they have an attack general, but I just, I don't even, they are getting the terrain penalties as well. So, in a way, it doesn't make that much of a difference what benefit they do have. They are moving through Switzerland, which is horrendously annoying. <laughs> it's just every access point they possibly have, they're just plodding on through. It's it's kind of it's low key a dumb, if I'm honest. Um, 
now Rush is mobilising. They've only been at war for a little while now. I think it's probably time that we should mobilise. Of course, yes. Why wouldn't it not be? So hopefully the aim is to win, to at least reduce this by enough to the point that they consider tapping, basically, because they have fully blockaded us. Um, and there is no reason that I should attack just quite yet. They are moving about in Switzerland, which is of no interest to me. I'm just going to let my forces build up. We are winning in Metz. And we are winning in Italy, the Northern Italy uh, provinces too. We've just won down there. So that is good for me. They've now attacked me again in another in Colmar. Which we should be able to just not even really, we don't even think we need to reinforce that battle. Um, we should be okay in general. So we're taking Mets. What is unit is this? Is this an attack? This is an attack. Uh, what are you? Your defense. Let's move that unit up to there. Hopefully, this should be okay. We should offset the balance. Yeah, that should. Are my units? Yes, they are fully financed, which is fine. So hopefully, they'll just sort of hit a stagnated bit down here. Um, I'm hoping that the Russians try to attack me. Shimmy cell, I think that's called. Um, we'll quickly try and build a fort at least in that one region, see if we can get that off. That'd be alright. So winning in this battle here. We have the we have the advantage. They're getting better dice rolls, but that shouldn't make that much of a difference. We have way more artillery, so we're able to hit their back line, or they're we're able to hit them and they can't hit us, so that's fine. We may have to reinforce it. It depends if they pour more troops into it. So they've poured more troops into Colmar. So we'll do the same, which is fine. Now it's completely dropping off. Okay, we'll pull that unit out. Okay, and that's a big battle one. I <laughs> just reinforced it. A lot of Sardinia Piedmont soldiers in that battle, however. So they're still losing it. Okay, so Colon is down. So we're going to take out the Belgians now. So the plan here is just to keep on causing issues because obviously they are going to keep on trying to attack me at every given chance. Um, we're going to keep this unit over here because if we can stop the Russians, this front is secure. This front is just a single unit. A lot of this bit is going to be containing the German, uh, it's containing the French and stopping this. Um, but that will be it for this part. I will record the next one straight away just until we continue this war. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, I apologize for having to sort of take a step back, but I'm glad the war's actually kicked off again. So I'll see you guys in the next part, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.